to this point, we've talked about salts with that are binary salts, so they haven't had any what we call polyatomic ions. A polyatomic ion is simply a, an ion that is made up of more than one atom. An example of this is going to be potassium nitrate. In the potassium nitrate, we've got the potassium ion, but then we also have the nitrate ion. Now, the nitrate ion consists of one nitrogen and three oxygens. This is why it's a polyatomic ion, because it's made up of multiple atoms. It also has an overall charge of negative one. If we go through and look at the fact that they've got equal oxidation states, then when we write out the formula, we're simply going to write out KNO3. The rules and stuff still apply, same that we've looked at with the salts, binary salts that we've seen up to this point. Another example would be calcium nitrate. In calcium nitrate, the calcium has a 2 plus oxidation state, and the nitrate, as we saw before, has a minus 1. In this case, since they don't have equal oxidation states, we've got to find a common multiple of 2. We're going to take our calcium, multiply it by 1 to give us our plus 2, and our nitrate multiplied by 2 to give us our 2 negative. We now have an overall neutral compound, and when we write out the formula for this, we're going to write it out as calcium, and we're going to put the nitrate in parentheses, the NO3 in parentheses. When we have more than one of a polyatomic ion, we need to put it in parentheses so we know that it is acting as a group. So we put the subscript to the lower right, with that polyatomic ion inside the parentheses to represent how it actually is acting. So we'll look at a couple more. Aluminum sulfate. Aluminum has a 3 plus oxidation state. Sulfate, another polyatomic ion, has a 2 minus. Since they are unequal in their charge, we're going to need to find a common multiple of 6. We're going to take our aluminum times 2, our sulfate times 3 to give us both 6s, and we end up with aluminum sulfate, Al2SO4 taken three times so that we have a neutral compound and again since we have more than one of the sulfate we need to put, a, put it in parentheses and the three outside to the lower right. Sodium phosphate we're gonna have the sodium ion and the phosphate ion we, since the phosphate has a three minus oxidation state we're going to need to have three sodiums to give us our plus three. We're going to need one phosphate to give us our three negative. And our formula is going to be Na3PO4. This time around, we don't include parentheses around the phosphate because we don't have more than one of them. We also don't put the sodium in parentheses because it's a monatomic ion. It doesn't, it's only made up of one type of atom. Iron three sulfate. We got our iron with a plus three oxidation state. Notice this is the variable oxidation state format that we saw previously. Uh, sulfate is a negative two oxidation state. We have our common multiple of six, and our formula is going to be Fe2SO4 taken three times. Again, the sulfate is put in parentheses with the subscript three because we need to have three of them. One more example. Uh, and then we'll look at one other uh, type of polyatomic ion. We get the lead 4 chromate. The lead is a, got an oxidation state of 4 plus. The chromate is a 2 minus. We're going to need to have four of the leads and two of the chromates to get our common multiple of four. So that our final formula is going to be PbCrO4 taken twice. I want a special consideration here. We've got ammonium chloride, and ammonium is the only polyatomic ion that we're going to see commonly. There are others, but really this is the only one that would occur with any compounds that we're going to use in the lab. We're going to treat it the same way as we have done up to this point. An example, ammonium chloride. We've got the ammonium ion with a plus charge. We've got the chloride ion with a minus charge. Since they are equal in their oxidation state, we simply just bring them together and we say NH4Cl. We don't have any parentheses around the ammonium because we only have one of them. An example where we will need to have parentheses around the ammonium is ammonium sulfide, where we have the ammonium with a plus ox or positive one oxidation state, we've got the sulfide with a two negative. We're going to need two ammoniums, one sulfide, and our formula then is going to be NH4 taken twice because we need to have two of them. 
sulfur because there's only one. Last example, ammonium oxalate. Ammonium is the NH4 plus. Oxalate is C2O4. It has a two minus charge. We're gonna to need to have two ammoniums and one oxalate for a final formula of NH4 taken twice, C2O4.